welcome to the Sports Latte, and it's your host, Sister Demontis Dine. And today we are here with a well-known goalkeeper. Um, his name is Denzel Smith, and I won't do a lot of talking. I'll let him do the talking. But without further ado, welcome, Denzel. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. This is Denzel Smith, goalkeeper of Jamaica College. You know, it's grateful to be here. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So. Tell us a little bit about you. What do you do for fun? Um, what grade you in? All kind of them things here. Well, what I do for fun? Play football or video games. I'm now in upper six, six farm at Jamaica College. You know, and you know this is Denzel Smith. I'm a very self-driven person. We'll go above and beyond to ensure that anything that is given to me is complete, you know? Love that, love that. Okay, so let's talk some football. So yeah. this season, um, actually before this season, 2019 season, what was what were you doing at that time? Like the last time football was being played in Jamaica. 2019 season, as many persons know, I was a goalkeeper at Fulmas, Fulmas Boys School. And I went to the semi-finals. Unfortunately, we lost on penalties again. So it seems like there's something with penalties, you know? <laughs> Um, and then we didn't really know what's happening. Well, 2020 season never happened. And COVID. Yeah, COVID. And now we're here. Manning Code 2021, 2022 kind of thing. Um, explain to me at the beginning of the season, what was your mindset um, going into it? Because football wasn't being played for so long. So like, what were you doing? Were you excited to play? Very excited, you know. Could we wait to play some ball because of the COVID? You know, it take all the 2020 season, and you know, we did a curious one play about ball because you know, this has something more to do for life. Yeah, it's our enjoy. So, coming to this season, we'll get the green light. Everybody excited, every footballer was excited, you know, especially me <laughs> knowing that it's my last year. I get, I got a knock, a next shot to prove myself. But this season, it was a lot of injuries and stuff, you know. But I really wanted to bring it to, unfortunately, penalties again. But coming yeah, in this right. season, I had a lot of milestones and some goals that I set for myself. I set for myself, you know. Yeah. You can see the least amount of goals and to win the Manning Cup, unfortunately, as I said before, we lost on penalties, you know. Yeah. So um, you talk about injuries. What did you face any injuries this season? Yes, this season, I had injuries in the stats game. I got a dislocated finger in the first half, and that game we were down three 0 and I went up for the ball, and I got a dislocated finger. And in the game, I played. I played throughout the game with the same finger, and after. My chain, I looked at it and he said, yes, there were serious problems with the finger. And we won the game by 5-3. And a lady with the medical team, she came to me and, and she pulled my finger and said, don't look at her. And then she just slipped it back in place. I went and did an x-ray and they said that it's not OK. It's just some swell and it will go down. And throughout most of the season after that injury, I had to wear something on my finger, you know, to kind of, mm, what would I say? We stand the tape because it hurts, you know? Yes, yeah. Yeah, so I played I play through that for the whole season. And after I hide it from the opponents, but I was injured throughout the whole season. And then in Garvey Massey again, I got a head injury. And I called it with one of the players yeah, right here. And I had to play with helmet until the finals before I took it off. Yeah. So through that season. And it was a season I expected to do my best, but unfortunately, it's just a lot of unfortunately for that season. Injuries. And also got I got sick on camp. So it was a lot going on. I see, I saw you playing with the helmet, but I thought it was like a style thing. Like oh, I don't know. <laughs> style, I understand because I actually it's kinda of uncomfortable worse when the sun had you know? I was playing a black gear is it? Make the sun beat. Yeah. It wasn't style, man. It wasn't style. Yeah, I can't imagine. Probably just uncomfortable. Oh, 
<laughs> so um talk about the beginning of the season so as the season mm-hmm. progressed um jamaica college you know as in we're winning majority of the matches that you guys are playing and then we got into like the nitty gritty uh let's talk about champions cup yeah. how did you feel going into that match um was it like a goal to like reach to the finals or where it was your focus was manning cup You well, to be honest, you know, to be honest, you know, at Jamaica College, we are champions. We are born champions. So, heading into this season, we, the only thing that was on our mind was Manning Cup, Champions Cup, Olivia Shield. We we're coming for the cherry. So, we're going into everything. Because whenever, honestly, I, I don't think it's just, it's just football. Because I don't think we should have lost any of those games. If you check the ratio. The real main games like the Intel game in the Champions Cup semi-final. We lost them penalties. Manning Cup, we lost them penalties. And I'm, I am sure that if we want the Manning Cup that game, Gavin Massey did again. <laughs> so that I get the chill. I just some small errors. Some small, small errors. Got yes. the best of, you know? But and I, I think mean... it's about immaturity too, because some of the players them brain young, you know? So mm-hmm. that, I think, that's the best of it. Yeah, that, as in, it can be a blessing in disguise because if a player, like, at your age, or like a captain, Duncan, you guys can use this as fuel for the next level, you know? So as in, like, I don't necessarily think it was a bad thing. It probably is better because you're not that comfortable anymore, you know? Um, so you can probably look at it from that perspective. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know you used to go to, really? like, other high schools, like, yeah, Holy, 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 holy. <laughs> yes, sir, the they all over, yeah. they all over. <laughs> Mr. Man, Mr. Man, we had a Mr. Um, man, man. <laughs> Talk to us about the transition, because I know, like, I moved from like, one high school to the next, and it was different for me, because every school have their own little culture. So for you, not just moving for, like, school, yeah. for, like, well, a sport. Then, well, for me, From primary school days, my school was to go to Fortis, you know? I born Fortis, man, so, you know, so we get to go to Fortis, Kingston College. You see, unfortunately, some things happened. Then, Olmaz got interested. Go to Olmaz, we sit out a year, go to the semifinals, man. Me and my team, then we go to Manning Cup semifinals. I love Olmaz, I love Kingston College. Then we got judges for 2020 season. Jamon Shepherd helped me for do that, you know. Dog helped me forget to it. They sent judges, but unfortunately, COVID came in. Couldn't get to play the season. Coach never, never want to go away. Can't do one for the 2021 season, but you know, say, Jamaica College, you know, I'm interested in that guy. But body want to play for Jamaica College. If I want school ball, like, if I get the opportunity to play for Jamaica College, nobody now nah, say no to that, is it? So, well, to me, my decision still was a great decision, you know, when I regret one moment of going to Jamaica College. It's just that we never got to go on. And in life and everything we want, you're going to get this. So I just got to go on. Yeah. But my, my transition didn't affect me now, we still. Because every school I'm going to enjoy, just get accustomed to the environment, you know, meet more people. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad that you never, like, Chick, I like it. Timid, I didn't think. No, sir. Yeah. So it's never timid, man. Never timid. <laughs> a ball, a ball, man. A goalkeeper, a ball. Boys, there are everything. Yeah. So, yeah, Mining Cup happened. Champions Cup. Ah, uh, I never matriculated to the next level. But the week after was Mining Cup. You're going into, you're going back onto camp. Um. How did you keep motivated, like, knowing that you know, we have a big match, it's a big match against a school I used to go to, like, yeah. all go to every day. Well, for me, still, as I said, Jamaica College, have a great managing staff, you know, so they're always there, they're back with, they give anything we need for we feel comfortable, you see, so, as I said, when you attend Jamaica College, just the way the manager them deal with you, how them go, how to them way for ensure so they get what you want to feel comfortable, we get to gears them. If you need new cleats, we get new cleats. 
new gloves, anything them try to make comfortable as it. So even if you as a normal person, you never have the drive to do something like that. It, when they were them I do for you, yeah, I said, no man, look for them and I really do for you. You know, say so me, they want to win it for them, you see me? Not only for yourself. So they really want to win it for them still, especially me, they want to win it for them. You see me? But circumstances, man. You see me? Yeah. So going into the game, we're ready. We're ready for them. We're ready for Kingston College. I could have seen a facial expression like when the match done, you did just make yeah, it on the body's feet here. Uh, how Russia. long it took for you to get over that? Or like at least calm down to the stage where you can say, um, you can talk to somebody now? At, at the time, at the time after the game, you getting on some problems after the game calls with the outbursts, you know. Kodo is like you know my child so much because of my school. <laughs> so it affect me more than a lot of person. Yeah. Then, you know, say I'm a last year to one person, like I gonna say come again and I'm know I have a next year. So it kind of affect me, but as you come to really need it. But how long it took me to calm down or to speak to somebody? You know, so actually the same night or so about. 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock or so. Still never calm down, but I have this one friend, Anjali, you know, in call me and I say, oh, but no, you hear me in the front of and say, you call it out. I say, me and my reader, I say, no, you can't be case and thing. And it hurt me still. It hurt me because I have to take a break from the football. I love to know I'm still there for a break. Kind of have me away. Yeah. Have me away, man. Well, but you know where for bump for the type. Yeah, it's life. That's what I was going to say a while ago. The good thing about it mm -hmm. is that, like, yeah, continuing yeah. football, if you want to be a footballer, you kind of have to, one, hold yourself accountable when things go wrong, and two, you no know, say, yo, I know the end this. This is literally schoolboy football. You get just me? Just the beginning. Yeah. yeah. So, basically, um, my opinion is, and probably other people may agree with me, that the person that views the football game best is the keeper. You're in the goal, you're literally seeing the formation and you're seeing everybody, right? Yeah. So, um, what is your advice to goalkeepers that are in high school, whether sixth form, fifth form, they know that next year schoolboy football is coming up. What can you mm -hmm. give to them or advice to people that have been transitioning from school to school? Like how to keep your head up? Good, good, good question. Um, honestly, all I would say from my point of view is just to be confident in what you're doing, you know? That is the main thing. You just need to remain confident. And, and if you're nervous, everybody nervous in a game. So you just need to try and just say, like you need a power, a, a something like a phrase or so you normally tell yourself or a sentence, they can be the only little sentence, you know, to say, you just keep reminding yourself, say, oh, you are the man, you know. That I always tell myself that I'm the man, you know. So even in a game or so, when I'm a bit nervous, I tell myself I'm the man. So to, to gain confidence. And it also comes from my father. He normally provides me with the confidence I need. So it, or even if for some persons, nervousness as a goalkeeper, it can affect a lot of persons. You tend to see a lot of keepers in game when it comes to game and like a lot of mistakes are so in the school ball levels because of nervousness. For some persons, their parents help and then parents come watch or so. So anything that makes you feel comfortable, to feel confident or so, you try and get that. You see me? And yeah. in regards to transition, transitioning in school. You just want to communicate with people. The communication skills are for up. You can't anti-social and you go all about. And you and people are a mesh. They just need to communicate and socialize with others. You see me? Yeah. And yeah. Um, one last thing I want to know is, do you have like a pre-game routine? What do you do like before a game? Well, before a game, every game, me and my friend them, I would normally show up, play some music, go straight back. You see me and think about the game. Me always think about the game while I play my music. I think about the game. I want to carry out the coaches. My goalkeeper coach, Clive, whatever. And you know, I try to carry out why I show because you know, them Monday 
coach hard. The man is serious. So you know you have to try to think about what you say and meditate and think about the game. You see? And try to have fun because if it overthink too much, you have to get nervous. You have to try to smile, but you have to meditate the same way and listen to your tune. You want to get up. Just do what make you feel comfortable. Yeah. Give me that light feeling, uh, Marie. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So thank you, Denzel, for doing this interview with the Sports Latte. It was a pleasure. And we're going to keep our eye out for you in, with more. Thanks, thanks, also. thanks for having me. You know? yeah. It's a pleasure also. No problem. Thanks. Hey guys, welcome to the bonus feature. And it's your hostess with the mostess, Janae. And we are back with Sledge Denzel Smith from Jamaica College and many other schools. And we're going to be playing a little game called this or that and ask him a few questions. So, what is your favorite football team? Barcelona and Manchester City. But if I have to choose between one, it would be Barcelona. Ah, uh, favorite footballer? Lionel Messi. Favorite ghost? Okay, for Isabella again, Thirsty again. Okay, so let's ask some of these other questions. You like fast food or you like food from home? Food from home. Mommy had the best cook. Who? Mommy had the best cook. My I don't mom. think you say you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I can't do my little thing, man. I can't do my thing. I can't, do my thing. I can't help myself, you know? <laughs> Were you like, road or staying home? Road. All day, one life. I feel like it's road. <laughs> uh, what type of... If you, were, if you weren't supposed to... If you never played football, what other sports would you want to play or play? Oh, sport. Running. Chops. Really? Yeah, can run, man. Interesting. Uh, Fast boy. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite genre of music? Dance. Uh, what's your you favorite know, dance genre of music? Massacre, Alkali, Vibe Starter. And what's your favorite song right now? Favorite song right now? Mm -hmm. Girl. I think it would have been Baker. You think million of money in a no banger? <laughs> Baker, that, that song there. Baker, but you know, he might come up in another race. I'm a boss. I'm going to be the next best. My mom too. All right. Baker. Um, if you were supposed to play any other position on the feet other than being a goalkeeper, what would it be? Can I ask the crowd, man? Forward, wing, anyway. <laughs> trust me, trust me. And as a speaker, I'm very, very, very sorry. I'm good, man. I have a killer rookie, man. The world knows. And as a speaker, football, if you were supposed to pick a money cup starting 11, what would it be? As the world may know, myself first in goal, then just me. Right back, Tyreek Zimini's, no questions asked. I think I would put Zayda Davis, the rock, run out the box. And Romy and Blake also sent her back. You know, on the next big thing. <laughs> and left back would have be Graham, so that I my back five. Lee made would have be Garrick. From Carrick, or Gar Carrick. Carrick. Yeah, Carrick from Kingston College. Christopher Pearson, Dante Duncan. No. Hear me? Um, <laughs> Don't call me. Like <laughs> Don't call me Kenzie. Yeah, from JC, my captain, the boss. And up top, would I have Link from Stats? Good player. Mm -hmm. And the next wing would I be Stats captain, the number 11. Mm -hmm. And uh, do I Merrick? 
All right. But of some of my other players, them like Marlon Penny could be a good player too. But I just show stats players, stats captain score goal for goal, a goal dog. Them, so that could be to be honest. Honest opinion. Yeah. All right. And last question. Hard question. Ready? All right. As a man that has been to many schools, KC, JC, Judges, and Woolmers, for very good schools in Manning Cup, rank them from one to four year experience. Yeah, pick between them schools, to be honest. It'll be other. The one, Kingston College and Jamaica College, may I put to Kingston College, Jamaica College, Woolmers, whatever you want. One together, all them rather want together. Come enjoy the whole of them. All of them help me in every way. You know, I learn from them. It was a learning experience. But growing up, Kingston College at the school, I'm really want to go. You know, I'm a get for go to school. You know, but forty is kind of a salary number test. We have to fall, but never eat. Yeah. And for college, you know, for every in campus. You know? Yeah, my big school there. <laughs> Work is burning in the field. I get quite a geese. Mm -hmm. yeah, we love the whole of my school, I'm an ally. I like the best experience. I can't live and tell my grandkids and kids that they grow up there and go to school. I know how every school feels, you know, all the top traditional school. Yeah. So I, I think I have a lot of fear school life or school experience. You know? yeah. Can tell you all it. Well, <laughs> We thank you for doing this interview with Sports Latte. It was very, very fun. And guys, if you want to see or hear more from Denzel Smith and his football career, follow him on Instagram at Pledge underscore Smith. All right. And it will be in, on our Instagram page at Sports Latte and in the description below. Guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that like button, turn it blue, join the crew. Remember and, to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the number one. Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> so, okay. thank you. And see you soon. Thanks again, man. All right, later. <laughs>